Hey guys, here we are in your city. This is a monster furnace we're looking at replacing here. And uh, the one thing I want you guys to do is save me at a minimum this door or save the entire panel that's on there. But the only way they have is a set of uh, basement stairs so they have no outside entrance to get in here. Um, so here's the gas line. We'll have to take off that AB valve and just put a regular gas shut off. Um, so it looks like you got inch and a inch or inch and a quarter gas line there, so you'll need a reducer. Uh, and actually, we'll probably just take it from up here, from right up there, um, and just reduce down to three quarter from there. Um, you'll have to disassemble this whole thing and just take it out piece at a time, and you'll be left with one big heat exchanger that's in there. We'll have to put a new return drop up here so you need a bunch of panning and I'll get you the dimensions of this return that's up here. Um, he hasn't decided whether he wants to go 80 or 95 percent. He does not have a chimney liner so we'd have to put a liner in if he decides to go within 80 percent and if he doesn't um, go within 95 well, we could vent out the side of the house over here. The uh, Let's see the drain. So where's the floor drain right here? So there's a floor drain right here in front, so you can get the condensate down there. Um, he does have a leaky plumbing stack uh, that needs to be replaced. So I'm going to give this to Dominic and have him give us a quote on replacing this stack. So it's got these two arms here. It's got um, looks like a lead thing going into the bathtub right underneath here. Uh, so there's three branches off of this off this stack. And they actually have leaks going upstairs even, I think. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks.